So what are we doing, Josh? Switching out the modules on the router here. We've got so many routers, we don't know what to do. <laughs> we don't even know what to do with all these routers, but we got a bunch of cards. Slots are labeled in a strange way. Mm -hmm. Zero, one, one two, something two, and three. So we want to take this out. This is an old T1, but we want to put another fast ethernet port from some of these other routers that we have up in here. So let's take that out. Some of these are hot swappable. We've already powered the router off because we don't want to fry a board, but some things are OIR, online insertion, removable, capable, otherwise known as hot swappable. I think that might be like high speed or high density. WAN interface card, HWIC. Okay, there you go. And we also want to free up slot zero on this one because we want to put an additional fast ethernet port in both of those. So we'll want to pull fast ethernet modules from these two. This is a 2851 router. I'm trying to swap it to a 2811. Is that going to matter? It's possible that there might be a router that only handles certain types of modules. But in this case, I'm pretty certain that this module is going to work okay. up here. We'll, we'll soon find out when we boot it up. We'll see if it's recognized or not. By the way, there's the model number. Okay. HWIC 1 Fast E version 01. So sometimes hardware has different versions. And there's the serial numbers over there. Mm -hmm. If you look inside there, you see there's a rail. There's a right. rail right there. And there's a rail over here on this side. So that's where you want to be sliding those. Okay. Then you want to nice. push it in firmly. No, no, no. You want to seat it because mm -hmm. it has to plug into the back plane. Those pins in the back plane of this router plug into that. Now, obviously these are older platforms, but a lot of these concepts are this, the same with newer routers. Sometimes the router modules are, are wider. This is a full width module. Let's go ahead and pull one of those out and take a look at it. This is a full width slot and look at that connector back there. It's much bigger. And to maintain proper airflow, it's it's recommended that you keep the slot covers in place. We have an airflow system inside of it where if you remove a module slot cover and leave it out, the air escapes and it doesn't properly cool it. Okay, so we have two new fast ethernet HWICs in place. Let's power this thing up. Hey, we have lights. Nice. It's kind of funny, one's brighter than the other one. Okay, so now that they're booted up, let's look at what the router sees. Uh, you can look at interfaces or you can do type show diag. WIC, check it out, WIC slot zero. One port fast ethernet HWIC. 